Edner, last time we saw you fight was right after Keith's fight. Yeah. So, St. Pete Boxing Club, you guys have both been sort of tucked away in here, working out, getting stronger, being Superman. Yeah, yes, man. Are you ready for your kryptonite moment? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm getting ready, man. That's, that's why I'm here. And uh, just getting prepared, you know, especially taking an hour and 15 minute drive one way. So, it's like coming here, I don't just put... Uh, a halfway work in because it's it don't make no sense driving all the way over here and putting three rounds on the bag and like oh I'm done. When I come here I put about 17 rounds on the bag and you know I just I just put the hard work in man because uh, by me by me working in here when I look at Keith Thurman and when I look at Jeff Lacey who who is here working out you know what I'm saying become a world champion of uh, Winky Wright and now I'm looking at Keith Thurman and I want to be one of them guys that has a world title wrapped around my waist, and uh, especially um, when I fought uh, Jose Prezada, uh, I think I won, and uh, I think right now I think I'm the uncrowned champ, and you know, but you know what I'm saying I, I'm not looking looking at it right now, but I'm leaving it behind, so I'm looking what's in the future and just putting the hard work in and just believing in myself. You have a fight coming up in March that hasn't been announced yet. What can you sort of tease fans with until they actually get all the details? You know, it will it will be a great fight. You know, I'm looking for a great, tough fight because I know Omar, he's a great fighter. He's not a pushover. And, you know, so that's why that's why I'm believing in myself, putting the hard work in, and because I'm not looking for easy fight because uh, Omar is looking to get a win because he just lost against uh, uh, Fentuna. And uh, so I'm coming with my game, uh, March March 17, and so so it'll be it'll be hard, it'll be a tough fight for him. So he so he think he's coming, to, you know, to just to run over me because because for me age doesn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying it's just a number. Being 34, going in there with his young ki well, with his young cats. I, you know what I'm saying I make him work like man. This dude keep on coming. He's not getting tired, but that's me, and because the hard work that I that I put in. I know Dan Birmingham has told me for the last two years, watch Edna Cherry, watch Edna Cherry. Yes. Watch oh Edna yeah. Cherry. Oh yeah. Definitely. And now you guys are stair stepping it all the way up to the title. Yeah. So it's, you know, talk a little bit about this journey that you've got in boxing because it's an interesting one. You know, I have long career up and down. And uh, you know, since I came with Dan Birmingham, and you know, he, he he's a man, a coach, a mentor that believes in me, and um, uh, and he worked with me, and he, you know, he just he just a coach that trusts in that that uh, I will become a world champion, and which I did, but it didn't went my way. But uh, he's continued still believing in me, and uh, he's a he's he's a great trainer. It ain't uh because that I'm training here, just because I'm saying that, but he's because because you can see see his resume. He was the train of the year and all that and you know so that's that's what i love about this gym and it's and you know he's real he's real let's talk about keith's fight Thurman versus garcia man you know what this will be it'll be a great fight and um i think uh, uh keith will pull it out not because i'm a teammate with him because when i see garcia and keith thurman um garcia he's a slow it'll be a slow pace for him because he's not a like when you look at Keith and uh, um, Porter, it was like a, a action packed fight since round one to twelve. And Keith will always get ready and um and, and um Garcia will be there to get hit. Keith is a smart fighter. But uh they think that he they think that he will come in there banging, I mean just swing a while, but he's a uh, he's like the whole package. He could box, he could bang, he could he could, out, he, I mean, he could outsmart you, and even like when I spar with him, sometimes it's like, I don't know, it's like he's he's smart in there. I mean, when you really go in there and find out when he start hitting you, he be thinking, oh shoot, you know. I think oh, that's what a uh, Danny Garcia be be looking for. Oh man, this dude is strong. This dude get, could hit because uh, I think uh, Garcia, Garcia would be easy to get hit uh, that night. So uh, I think uh, that fight will not go all the way. I think it will, like it'll be short night for. Uh, um, Oh, Garcia, but I don't know what round, but I think it'll be a short night. You're a big part of Central Florida boxing. How important is it for boxing to have foothold in Florida like it does? Man, you know, it's great because it um, looks like Florida is the it's going to it's going to be the number one because this way everybody comes because of the weather, the heat, and and. Then, then if you look at, it's a, it's a lot of champions that come out here. You look at Winky, Nate Campbell, 
um, Keith Thurman, Jeff Lacey, and and the, and these and, and these other guys that came here and trained became became world champion. And um, then I, you know what I'm saying? I want to be one of them. I want to be among them. Where I, like when my career said and done, I can say, well, you know what? I was a world champion too. And um, you know. With the with the winky, with you know I'm saying with all these great fighters, I you know what I'm saying I could say that.